Hello, and welcome to another JTAG RGH modified Xbox 360 video, whatever you want to call it, whatever you have. This is a video about those things that I listed. So, today I'm going to be going over Freestyle Dash versus Aurora, alright? Show off some of the different features that they have, because I don't... I feel like there are people that still use Freestyle Dash and don't really understand Aurora, or they just, like, have no interest in it at all because it's something different and this works, so why do something different? Even though, arguably, it's better, but I, it depends on your use. There's pros and cons for both of them, and that's what I'm going to be going over right now, okay? So, first off, um, actually... Let me go ahead and go into freestyle, all right, and just show you. It takes a little while to boot into, okay? That's one of the things. Aurora, pretty fast, pretty snappy. Um, obviously, going from a cold boot is going to be different than me just hitting the dash button and going into here. So that's something that you may want to look into yourself if you do want to uh, end up wanting to try Aurora and you haven't, or maybe you tried a different version of it before and you haven't tried this one. I'll go over that. Okay, so Freestyle Dash has way more options, but Aurora is not really trying. It's not, I wouldn't say Aurora for me personally, it's not an alternative. It's just something that I can boot into instead of and then have access to all my games. Aurora, from what I know or from what I use it, is just games, just applications. You can add applications and homebrew stuff to it. I only have 360 games on Aurora, though. Whereas on here, as you can see, homebrew, classic, emulator, all this stuff right here you have right out the get-go. Okay, um, Freestyle Dash has the file um, file manager. Aurora has a file manager as well. Aurora does not have this though, the DVD extractor. Very, very nice, very helpful. I mean, that's how I have every one of my games from the console is extracting it from the DVD. Whether I think Aurora might have that, does anyone really care? Uh, there are a bunch of different skins. I like the Aurora skins more than the Freestyle Dash skins that I've seen, but that's uh pretty opinionated so i'm not really gonna put that as a point you can decide for yourself um this has uh ftp built in aurora does as well i don't think there's fan management but i there's a lot of similarities between these i'm not sure if there's fan management and there you go that's that's all that okay now 360 games let me go in here okay let me show you you see all this stuff? There's a ton of missing covers. Uh, a lot of this stuff I've downloaded via Aurora, and some of it just happens to show up. You cannot get... Uh, there used to be this server that would just... You'd be able to connect to it from Freestyle, and you'd go ahead and get all of your info and cover art and stuff like that that is no longer supported on there it is supported on aurora though so that's really nice i mean if you're just wanting to have games displayed neatly i would really go with aurora i mean I, I really like it um i don't yeah i don't have any any stuff like that now i can go ahead and show you aurora though all right so we'll go in the fire file browser excuse me and then we have aurora 0.5b and we'll go into this, um, make note of how long it takes. I want to see. Wasn't inc like way faster than freestyle, but I believe it was. Now, let me show you this, okay? Oh man, I need to connect to the internet. Uh, I haven't connected in a little bit since I got this game, but all the other things should have nice little cover art, lots of nice alternative stuff. This isn't my case does not look like that. Uh, my case does not look like that. There's a lot of nice alternative art. This right here, there's one that there's a fan made mythic thing that I need to get for this. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. This is fan made or 
on some other box i don't know this definitely is not the thing that i own mine looks like that uh and there's just there's a lot of cool stuff now the really cool stuff is whenever you start getting into some of the details though so well what game do we want to pick we'll go to uh we'll do halo 3 okay that's a pretty cool game all right so you can sort your achievements see what you want uh excuse me see how many you have or you can sort it by uh like different things like you can have it tagged as shooter or how many discs or the id or blah 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 there's there's a bunch of different stuff you can have up there instead i have achievements right here you can go through the synopsis of the game it displays that all nice and neat uh you can have trainers on here so if that's something you're interested in using it's very easy to access it from there i personally don't have any uh title updates Boom, you can just go through all of them. There there would be a list if I was connected to the internet right now. I am not on my console. And then DLC, I don't have any. If I did, it would show it there. Yada, yada, yada. Achievements and saved games. You can access all your saved game stuff right there. And then we have preview stuff. This is pretty nice. Okay, so you have a bunch of screenshots. As you can see, I have 20 screenshots. And then... There's even a trailer, okay? So, if you're showing off the game to someone, you can just boot this up, go into it, they look through your games, they're like, huh, man, what's this game? Halo 3. I've heard things about it. I want to know more. And then, there you go. There's the trailer. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a rating system right there as well. I believe that's like the official i think that's like the xbox 360 the marketplace rating for the game i don't think that's like some special thing that's exclusive to this um i could go to the achievements but i'm pretty sure it just goes to achievements uh oh actually they may show all of the hidden achievements i don't know if it does or not um because i don't know if there are pretty sure there yeah Okay, so A it says show secrets. Okay, so uh, wait, what is it? Okay, so right now it's just changing some text. Is it? Does it do more than that? Uh, is I, like I'm not seeing any new thing pop up. Okay. I, I don't know anything about that. But yeah, you can change it to uh, to boot into this if you want. Again, everything's displayed like this. This is the default skin, by the way. I think this looks way better than Freestyle Dash. But three, Freestyle Dash does have more uh, utilities. So I think that's really good. Uh, I can go into settings. Hopefully I won't like accidentally show any passwords or anything. Yeah, see FTP. Um, you can select what all you want. You can get background, screenshots, a bunch of stuff like that. And then the marketplace, like you can search which one to go into. Uh, you can manage all your title updates, stuff like that. Plug in a link. You can manage the link. You can take screenshots. Okay. Uh, freestyle plugins right there as well. Change your language. X, uh, connect X, excuse me. And um, that's all under that. And then when, as you can see, like that is file manager restart reboot or shut down that's um it's pretty much all of it and then if you want to cycle through just quickly you can go ahead and do that and you can like toggle favorites and go through and get to it a little faster but i guess that's probably about all oh here i didn't even show this okay so you can have different filters you can sort it differently uh quick view yeah see so you can change your quick view to uh like only 360 games on you, you see you're looking at the screen you know what's up a bunch of different uh themes you can get and use those and skins you can change the skins there's a lot of different settings that you can go through as well and then you can mess with this i wouldn't mess with this i mean hopefully you don't need to mess with this but if you do it's there um, I guess that's really all for the video. I mean, nothing too crazy. Most people probably know about this, but if you didn't or if you just are randomly watching this and you, like, didn't like Aurora before, like an older version of it, and you're seeing it now, 
it is something to uh, to check out, to look into. I think it's pretty nice. It looks very nice anyway. Uh, and, I mean, it's, it's functional. It's not, like, <laughs> just all a pretty picture and, like, doesn't run well or something. I mean, you shouldn't have any issues using this over uh, Freestyle Dash for playing games. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. 